Hello everyone, it's Gemma here, the InspiredStamper.co.uk. Thank you for joining me on my tutorial today. Today I have got this desk organiser for you. It's a hexagonal shaped one um, and it, the little uh, sections are triangular shaped. So I've made it by making six of the triangle shapes and then popping them together. It looks like a bit like the wedge from Trivial Pursuit. That's what I was thinking of when I was making it. So that's that. This one here is made out of the All My Love Designer Series paper, which was a, is a speciality one. And so it's a bit thicker, so it's a bit stronger. I wouldn't recommend making this out of regular Designer Series paper because it might be a bit flimsy. But if you want to give it a, if you give it a go, that's completely up to you. Uh, today, I'm going to make it using some cardstock. So to make the sections, we've got six sections here, you're going to need six pieces of cardstock and then we're going to need another piece to put underneath the base. And I'm using some designer series paper to decorate it. So I've got a couple of bits here. Now this is a piece of 5x5 five five card and this is going to be for the base. And I'm using some Berry Burst today along with the Berry Burst uh, Designer series paper. Nearly got that out. Now I've got my six pieces here. You'll see they all go up in size. I have already gone ahead and scored and cut these ones and I've decorated them as well on the middle section. Now this is just to make this a little bit quicker for you because there's nothing worse than sitting there watching someone repeatedly cut and glue. It gets a bit boring. So I've kept one piece to show you the measurements, the scoring and where to cut and then I will be putting it all together for you. Now these six pieces of card, they are all eight inches long across that way but then they go up in half an inch steps. So we start with two inches, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, and then this final one here, which I haven't done anything to, is four and a half inches. The designer series paper, you see I've put that in the middle section of each of my little wedges so far. All measures two and a quarter inches, and then again it goes up in increments. And it starts at three quarters of an inch, one and a quarter, one and three quarters two and a quarter, two and three quarters. Then I've got a bigger piece here, which is going to go on our last section in the middle. That is three and a quarter. The extra piece here is going to go on the other side. And this one measures, again, two and a quarter inches by two and one eighth of an inch. And that's just going to stick in this little section here because it looks a little bit bare when there's nothing there. So, but as always, all the measurements and all the supplies and everything I've used today will be on my blog and a link to that will be in the description box below. So if you can't remember all the measurements, don't panic, they are all written down for you on my blog. Right, so let's get on. Let's bring in the scoreboard and I will show you the measurements for the scoring, which are all the same for every section. So it's nice and simple. So we're going to, we've got our long side, which is our eight inch side. And we are going to score this at two and a half inches, five inches, and seven and a half inches. And then we're going to turn it round. So we've got our shorter side at the top and we're going to score it at half an inch on one side and half an inch on the other side like so and that is our scoring done on here so let's get rid of the scoreboard now I'm just going to use my bone folder to give these score lines a good fold and burnish there we go so we've got our three sections now to make up our triangle shape. There we go. 
now we're just going to do a little bit of cutting we'll do some snipping out so the first one we've got this long skinny rectangle here we're going to take our corners off but I'm just going to wedge it at the same time and I'm just going to take a little notch, notch out as well so we get our nice shape and it all folds and sits together nicely so there's our first one and then we're just going to come across on these score lines as well now the easiest and quickest way I've found is to fold it on this score line and just snip at the top and the bottom there we go if I fold that open you'll see that's nice and neat and even so again on that score line and then our last side we're just gonna take a little bit off like so so that is the shape that you're going to end up with once you have snipped and you'll end up with loads of those little snippy bits everywhere so i'm just going to turn this over now a little bit on there it's been bugging me there we go all gone so i've got my designer series paper which is the in color collection and as I said, I'm using Berry Burst, which is going to be retiring really soon. So our ink colours are changing. So I just stick that in there. And then when you're doing this taller box, you need to decide which is going to be your top and which is going to be your bottom. Because we need to also add in our other piece of designer series paper I'm just going to fold that in so we want to put it to the right of our centerpiece and we're going to position this near the top edge like so so that is all our pieces are now decorated so if you go ahead do all your pieces the same now we can start constructing our sections so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put some glue along these tabs here and then I'm going to fold these over and stick them down Can use my bone folder just to push them down like so and then I'm going to put some glue on this little tab on the outside and then we can fold this in to construct our shape pinch that hold it there for a second while that just takes and there we go you'll see you've got your triangle shape done now don't worry about these bit sections too much for now we can stick all those down when we're going to pop our base on so if you just go along each of your pieces and then glue them down like so there we go and then again glue on the outside of your tab and fold it in to meet there we go so we're going to repeat that for all our pieces now so i'm just going to pause and then i'll restart when i so I've finish them all right so there we go i've got all my triangle shapes put together now there we go so now what we need to do is glue them together in our final shape so if i lay them down 
in size order. I'm going to take the largest one, just fold in these bottom pieces for the moment, just out of the way. Again, just fold those in for a moment just to get them out of the way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put glue all over the next size down triangle. Put some glue here. And then we're going to stick this to the side that's got no designer series paper on. So that is going to be our outside. Then that faces inwards because our smallest section is going to go here as we make our way around. So I'm just going to line this up at the bottom together and stick that together. So I'm just going to get that in place. Give it a good squish. Now I've got some of these really big paper clips and they're great because you can just pop them on and they'll hold the pieces together just while you're doing while you're gluing it you don't need to leave them on there for very long it just helps it's like an extra pair of little fingers hands helping you there we go so again i'm going to take the next size section make sure i do it out the right way and i'm going to put my glue on blank side and I'm going to stick it on doesn't matter which blank side you choose oh it does there is only one way up sorry you you will see which side to pop your glue on because you want your designer series paper facing outwards there we go it's not the easiest thing to do in the air There we go, so there's that section. Make sure it's nice and straight and flush. Not wibbly wobbly, otherwise it won't sit flat. There we go. Now I can just take those off and just move them down to this next section. There we go. And again, next section to glue on. pushing your little edges underneath. Don't get a bit of a pickle here. Right, you go flat. There we go. Just move those around. Hold that for a few seconds. There we go, and the next section. It's going in here. There we go. Now we've just got our final little one to put in. So for our last one, we are going to put glue on both sides because it's going to stick on both sides. A bit of glue. Now we should put this in here and it should fit absolutely perfectly. There we go. So I'm just going to push that in. Now 
And we're just going to need to hold this for a few seconds to make sure it is stuck. There you go, and just hold on, give it a little squeeze. And it should, should sit nice and flat. Fold our little flaps in, there we go. So let's just, oh, not get that caught on there. Let's take these off now. They've done their job. So there we go. We have got our little organizer constructed like so. And now we can go around and stick down our tabs. So if we fold these out, so we're going to fold some up, some down. We can just pop a little bit of glue. And our little tabs inside. Bit there. Bit there. Start folding these downwards. Oh, this one here. There we go. And then we can pop a little dab of glue on each of these outer ones. And we can fold it all down the flat. So there we go. We don't need too much on here, we just need a little bit on there just to hold it still and then flip it over and pop it down on the on your desk your worktop wherever you're making and just give it a good push down just pop your finger in give it a squish if you can't reach down use your bone fold at the end of it just to give it a little push down and a squish there we go and that should hold quite nicely now for the base of this I would love to say it's a very technical way of drawing a hexagon and working it out perfectly but as I've found you can't do it perfectly or get it perfectly by measuring and then drawing a hexagon. The easiest way to do it is to pop on your uh, desk tidy and draw around a piece of card. So I've worked out that five by five should be big enough if you turn it around I think it's diagonally it's literally just about not big enough no because I was trying to obviously use as little cardstock as possible so you see you do use quite a lot of cardstock See, there we go it fits on just about so I'm just gonna get my pencil and literally draw around my base hoping you're not getting my head leaning in there there we go so I've drawn around it and then I'm just going to neatly cut it out. I mean, if you have some large layering hexagon dies, I'm sure there's some, some out there that will be the correct fit. There we go. Don't panic too much if you're not quite on. You won't see it once it's all on.
and you can turn this over there we go and you're gonna see that it is overhanging a bit so we're gonna stick it on and then we're just gonna trim it and I know this must seem quite disappointing because everything else has been such precise measurements on this project but there really isn't unless you've got a set of large hexagon dies I really struggled to come up with finding a way to make it fit perfectly and how to draw it or measure it it never quite worked so then I can get my glue and pop it on all of these pieces so we're going to stick it down and then we can trim it by hand with our scissors to make it perfect there we go so we can pick one side to line it up with and then you can just trim the other side there we go that's going on there and at the end of the day this is underneath so you're not going to see it or look at it there we go you'll see there we go we've got some overhang there now if i was clever i would have put it towards the back where it wouldn't have been at the front but i haven't been that clever today there we go so that's stuck on and then i'm just going to take my scissors neatly trim across there we go a bit more of a squish so there we go you'd never know it wasn't quite right there we go looks quite nice and neat still right so now let's put some ribbon on i've got my super duper red sticky tape and i'm just going to run a line of this all the way around so i'm going to pop that start that there and i'm just going to go around all the way around my desk holder desk tidy snip that off Peel this backing off. Oh my goodness, this one is not the easiest one to do. Where's my pokey tool? Just need to get the edge. There we go, gotcha. I'm going to take the back off. Pop it that way, otherwise I'll end up sticking it to my... Uh, desk and I've got my ribbon nearly nearly stuck it down to the desk again and then I'm just going to run this all the way around wow this is certainly a very boast overload today isn't it you can tell it's one of my favorite ink colors there we go so now I can just trim this off there and now I'm going to tie a little bow to put on. So let's do a nice bow. And try and pull my tails quite flat and in line with the ears of my bow. There we go. Let's take that off of there. Give that a little trim there and there. And I can get a glue dot and add that onto the front. A little front section there, and there we go. You've got your little desk organizer made. 
Now, I hope you did enjoy that. As I said before, all the measurements will be on my blog and the link to that is in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.